Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and today I'm going to use some Beeline Designs rubber stamps. These are stamps that I offer in my shop to make some embellishments. I've had a lot of my followers ask for some embellishments that they could make for their junk journal. So let's get started. What I've got here is a shape that I used a pumper paper punch on you could use a die cut and you could also just do like rectangle and round the corner so what we're going to do is we're going to stamp on this and in fact I'm going to stamp on a couple of them at the same time so what I'm going to do is I've got a couple pieces of paper here and I think if I do this like that, I can stamp over both at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is take this fishnet or net stamp and ink it up with the archival ink. And then I'm gonna press it over both images or pieces of paper at the same time. And you wanna press firmly and let it set for a moment so that the ink can transfer to the paper. All right. So I got those two done. I'm gonna do a few more while I'm at it and then I'll be right back. All right, so I've got a few pieces of paper that I have stamped. I've got a couple that are not rounded on the corner. So I'm just gonna get a quarter inch round or quarter inch rounder, a uh, corner rounder and round these corners really fast. Then I've got some walnut stained distressed ink and I'm just gonna go around the edges of all these little pieces that we stamped upon. Got a little baggie of lace here, so I'm just going to dig around and find a piece that I want to use. I've got some more here. Okay, I think what I want to do is I've got this kind of a off white, a crew, maybe tea dyed, I don't know. It was probably gifted to me. And I think what I want to do is just cut little pieces to go on these label pieces. And then I've got this little bit whiter lace. And I think I'm just going to cut it big enough to fit on the front here. So I'll cut a couple of these. This one, yeah, I'm going to go, it's going to be a long way. So I'm going to go from the top to the bottom again. I kind of like doing assembly line, if you will, if I'm going to be doing a bunch of embellishments. Because it's just easier to fussy cut all the items and get it all ready than have to stop and start, stop and start each time. So what I've done is I've got the London measure that I have stamped on a pink piece of cardstock and fussy cut out. So that's going to go there. Then I've got this that says needle book. And I think that'll go on that one. And I've got... This purple label, I think, will go there. I've got a spool of thread. I think that'll go on that one. And then I've got this uh, sand silk uh, thread that'll go on that one. And this one, I want to do a little something different. I've got a bright pink and a thimble. So let's try to assemble some of this. So what I'm gonna do is I want this lace kind of laying on one side, and then I'll be able to put the London measure on top. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue over here, and then lay the lace right on top of that glue, and just kind of press it into place. The glue will dry clear when you're using Aline's Tacky Glue. And then I'm going to go around the back side of this, I've got this tea tiny little rubber stamp that's a button. It's as cute as a button. It's part of a set. And I want to stamp this. I was going to do it before I started the video and I forgot. I'm going to stamp it onto this scrap of teal a couple of times. I've got a little hole punch here. Let's see if I can get in there and punch these out. I'm going to go ahead and apply some distress ink around the edge. I want to take one of these and I think put it see let's put it over here on the lace in the corner now you could add rhinestones you could add um, sequins you could put little beads hanging off of it I want mine pretty flat so as you can see it doesn't take up a lot of depth by keeping everything pretty flat so there's one so let's make another one this time I'm gonna put the lace over here and lay that down and then lay the needle book on top then let's add a little teal button over here. And this one I'll put glue on the side here, add a little bit of lace, 
You can have it sticking out if you want. That's up to you. You know, if you like the, the look of the lace and you want it sticking out a little bit more, you can. You can also color the lace. I wanted it to keep it the kind of a neutral color because everything else is so colorful. I'm just going to put that right in the center. I'm doing a spool of thread right in the center as well. I'm just going to lay this lace right on the side here. You may need to lay something heavy on top of the embellishment to get it to stick down. Um, sometimes I'll put an acrylic block on top just to kind of help weight it. Then I've got another set of rubber stamped images and I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you a different idea. So what I've done is I have stamped one of the lace pieces from the Lace Duo. This is the pattern piece. It's on craft cardstock. This was on a teal. Then I did the pair of scissors on a pink, and then I did the spool of thread on purple. So what I found was, so I thought it was really cute to have this piece of lace coming up on the back side, and I want to glue these together, but I want to make sure that I don't have glue in the wrong place. So I'm just kind of lining this up the way I think I want it, and I'm going to flip it over, and I've got a pencil here, and I'm just going to make a line down the edge of the lace area and then I know I can put glue in that area and it will stick to the lace piece and hopefully won't have glue seeping out all over the place and because I drew the line I should be able to line it right back up press it into place and then I'll flip that over and then I'm going to glue down this pair of scissors kind of at a diagonal here and then I'll put the spool of thread down here at the bottom now this is going to become a tuck spot, but because this piece of lace paper is here, if you go to put something in, it'll catch on this edge. So what I found was I just grabbed a scrap piece of paper, and I'm going to glue this whole thing down, and then I'm going to cut it out, and that'll give that back a smooth area. And I'm just going to use my Fisker scissors. I found that I like this, I think it's called a micro touch. They're easy to operate. And what I've learned when fussy cutting is don't move your scissors, move the item that you are cutting and it is a lot easier on you. And you can get a little bit more precise because you're not having to twerk your arm around that's holding the scissors, which causes fatigue and causes it to mess up on you. And I'll go ahead and take my Distress ink and go around the edge because I may not be able to cut it perfectly unless I spend a lot of time on it. And I don't like to spend a lot of time on cutting things out. So now when we take a journaling card and go to put it behind, it won't catch. It'll go all the way through. So here are a few things that I have done. This is a journaling card that... I sprayed with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist and used the shabby stitches and put the thimble image. So here's the DeLong button and it's got the thimble on it. We've got the London measure and a little button and of course the netting in the background. And then here's the spool of thread. And then there's the top of the spool of embroidery, uh, crochet knitting thread. And here's another DeLong. It's a little bit different. And then, of course, the needle book. Well, I hope you enjoyed seeing, you know, some quick little embellishments that could be made with rubber stamp images that have been fussy cut out and then placed on pieces of lace. You know, you can go through your stash and see what you have that could be little images. You could also use digital images or rubber uh, postage stamps as well. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, comment below if you have any comments. If you haven't subscribed, please do and hit that notification bell at the top. Know that I go live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. and I go live on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Check the description box below for links for the items that I use as well as my Facebook group by Linda Israel and my other Facebook group, friendly junk journal people which has over 20,000 people that love junk journaling all right everybody thank you so much have a fabulous day we'll see you soon bye